A run and gun battle between two cars ends with a deadly crash on the city's north side. Now police are trying to find the people involved. Good evening. I'm Julie Unruh in for Jackie Bank tonight. And I'm Timon Bradley. Thanks for joining us. WGN's Judy Wang has our top story tonight. Shots fired followed by a fatal hit and run. Two cars involved remained at Irving Park and Western late Sunday morning. Debris scattered across both streets. I was sleeping. It was about 3 a.m. And I thought I heard gunshots, so I woke up. And then I thought at the same time I heard crashes, so I was like, what was that? Police are trying to determine whether people in a gray Toyota sedan and a black sedan were shooting at each other while going westbound on Irving Park Road near Damon. They say a canine officer heard gunfire, saw a muzzle flash from the Toyota. He turned on his lights and followed. The Toyota slammed into a Nissan Rogue at Western. A woman riding in it was ejected and pronounced dead at Illinois Masonic Hospital. The Nissan driver was not seriously injured. People in the Toyota ran off. Investigators recovered a gun. The Nissan was traveling northbound here on uh, Western Avenue, and it was just uh, struck. It was um, going through the intersection at Western and Irving Park. It was innocent people. We're still looking at video and trying to piece it all together. Um, if there was another car indeed, or an individual that was also there, and it was going back and forth. Wednesday, occupants of two moving cars fired at each other in the Fulton Market District. Five people, most of them innocent bystanders, were shot. Police continue searching for suspects. It's, it's just getting more ridiculous. Every time you see, you know, you got, you know, shootings on the highways and it's just it's constantly shootings. That means everybody got guns now. So it's like, what, you know, what's going on here? Back at Irving Park in Western, residents say they often hear car crashes at the intersection, but not gunfire. Some have stopped going out after a certain hour. It's a very safe place. Um, I'm not surprised because of all the shootings going on. My fear was, is that now it's coming up to this side of town, so to speak. Police are still trying to determine how many people may have been involved. On the north side, Judy Wang, WGN News.